We are marking the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. The almost 3,000 people who died that day included 343 firefighters in New York City. It was a devastating loss for that department in both lives and equipment. Well, East Tennessee recognized the desperate need and we delivered tonight a look back at our gift of the Freedom Engine. A door from a fire truck hangs on display at the Museum of East Tennessee History, a gift to New York after 9-11. When the World Trade Center towers disintegrated into dust, thousands died, and nearly 100 of the city's fire trucks that responded to the disaster were destroyed. There's a tremendous void in their hearts. They're just, they're really searching for something to do. 700 miles away, East Tennessee felt the pain. Would you just pray for America? Born out of the heartache was a desire to help. Then came an idea. Why not buy New York a fire truck? Once the idea was put forward, people thought the idea of a, uh, an actual truck, uh, a fire department ladder truck, w was great. Victor Ash, Knoxville's mayor at the time, and other community leaders rallied East Tennessee to raise the money, and they responded. School kids got creative. We didn't have we saw 700, 750 pins, and we were really amazed. We sell um, flag magnets for three dollars. Phones rang off the hook at a WVIR telethon. And it was everything from uh, two kids who brought in two dollars and I think thirty cents worth of pennies to uh, you know corporate people writing twenty thousand dollar checks, but we raised the money. Nearly a million dollars, enough to buy the biggest fire truck available, affectionately nicknamed the Freedom Engine. Six months after the attack, it was time to deliver the ladder truck to New York, where it was welcomed with plenty of fanfare. The people of Knoxville raised close to one million dollars for New York City. Leaders from East so Tennessee and New York, we'll including then-Governor George Pataki, dedicated the Freedom Engine at its new home, Ladder Company 14 in East Harlem, a firehouse that lost three brothers on 9-11. To everyone involved, thank you. To all of those of you from East Tennessee, thank you. Freedom will roll in East Harlem out of Ladder Company 14. For more than a decade, the Freedom Engine did its job, keeping the city safe and saving lives all while sporting a power tee. You know, the bucket we call it, um, we pulled a lot of people out with it, you know, and, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, it served us well. By 2013, it had gone above and beyond the call of duty. It was retired, its parts repurposed, but some saved. Yeah, we gotta go. So, we'll be back. Back at Ladder 14 in Harlem. One of the Freedom Engine's bucket doors now hangs on a wall. And here at the museum in downtown Knoxville, its companion, forever a bond and a reminder to never forget. That bucket door is part of the Freedom Engine exhibit at the Museum of East Tennessee History in downtown Knoxville.